The Paw Report. With Evan Yeager on sports, Kevin Bouquet and Isaiah Gardner on entertainment, Tony Confino as our field reporter, and lead anchor, Amy Gennady. Welcome to The Paw Report. Happy Spirit Week, OJR. I'm Amy Gennady, and Revolution or no, I'm still wearing red. Here's your news for this red out day. Junior and senior girls are invited to visit Syracuse University for the It Girls Overnight Retreat. The retreat will be held on November 10th and 11th. Applications are due October 15th. That's this Tuesday. If you're interested, stop in guidance for further information or go online to itgirls.ischool.syr.edu. Space is limited, so apply today. The trip is sure to be exciting. If you're looking for some excitement this Sunday, local band Eye for an Eye will be playing at Chaplin's Music Cafe in Spring City. Doors open at 1 p.m. and the show starts at 2. Bands Armory Infirmary and For the Broken will also be performing. If you like heavy music and high energy, come out this Sunday at 2 p.m. Our sports teams have been competing with high energy this week. Some of our golfers even made it to districts. To hear more, we go now to Evan in the Skybox. Evan? Hey, y'all. I'm Evan Yeager, and this is your sports news. Last night, our very own varsity field hockey team took on Perky Omen Valley, taking another victory and continuing a great season. Recently, members of the golf team have been plowing through a victorious season. We now go to Jeff Savant in the field to find out more about what makes this team so successful. Hello, OJR. I'm Jeff Savant, here with Maddie Sager and Laura Hackman, who both qualified for districts in golf. I'm also here with Eric Faust. So, what got you guys started in golf? My parents taught me at a young age. My grandmother got me into it, and it just took off from there. Okay, cool. Um, how do you guys prepare before matches? We chip and putt on the greens before, and we sometimes do putting contests. Yeah, we just try to get in the right mindset and prepare for nine holes. Cool. Do any of you think you're going to pursue golf as a career? I think I'll definitely play in college. I think I'll just play recreationally when I get the chance. Okay. What about you, Eric? I, I might play in college. I'm not quite sure yet. All right. Well, that's about it. Back to Evan in the Skybox. Thanks, Jeff, and congratulations to Maddie Sager for qualifying for regionals. This past Wednesday, the girls' cross-country team had a victory against Upper Perky Omen. Jill Weston, Sarah Taylor, and Andrea Shade finished in the top three. Baxter Recton, Chris Wood, and Kevin Lutz also secured a victory for the guys. Good luck next Thursday at Pac-10s. Speaking of Pac-10s, we'd like to wish good luck to the girls' double tennis team competing today. Good luck, girls. And that's all we've got for today, ONJ. I'm Evan Yeager, and back to Amy. Thanks, Evan. Hopefully our football team can add another victory to our Wildcat list at the homecoming game tonight. If you're fond of social affairs and high school traditions, the homecoming dance is this Saturday from 7 to 10 p.m. in the OJR High School cafeteria. Tickets are $10 at the door and 7 in advance. You may have $7, but sadly, the stage crew doesn't. You can fix that if you come to the movie night next Friday. The featured film is one of my personal favorites, Wreck-It Ralph. Tickets are free and snacks and hot chocolate are only a dollar. The movie begins at 6 p.m. in the high school courtyard. Come out and support one of O&J's great clubs. Speaking of great clubs, we have Sarah Hampton and Jenna Heisey in studio to talk to you about another good one, the Anchor Club. Chris Kolb's with them now. Chris? Hello, guys. Chris Kolb here for the Paul Report with some people from Anchor Club. So, who are you guys? I'm Jenna Heisey. And I'm Sarah Hampton. And what are you here exactly to promote? We're here to promote the Innings Boots Shoe Drive. What exactly is Innings Boots? Innings Boots is a charity that was started when Ian Miller, a 12-year-old boy, was killed in a sledding accident a couple years ago. His parents found a Bible verse about perseverance in his boot, and now they provide shoes to those in need around the world. What exactly could we, could we as students do to help? Oh, well, students can help by bringing in new or gently used shoes, any kind of shoes, and dropping them in bins, which will be placed around the school. Where exactly are the bins placed, and when, how long will we be collecting the shoes? The bins will be placed in the lobby, outside the nurse's office, and outside of room 1105, and the drive will be from now until Thanksgiving. Do you guys have a goal for how many shoes you want to collect? Our goal is 500 pairs of shoes. Geez, 500 pairs of shoes, and that's a lot of shoes, but even more laces. Thanks, Chris. That's all we have for you today, ONJ. Have a great weekend and a happy homecoming.